Chicago is a city of extreme weather, from hot summers to cold winters. According to a recent study by a scientific journal, climate change has already brought higher temperatures across the US Midwest. The study claims the average air temperature in the region has risen by four and a half degrees since 1980. Coupled with unusual heavy rain, all of it puts pressure on the area's infrastructure. The rapid changes in temperature or more extreme changes in temperature uh, during the course of the year uh, put stress on the, on, the, on the joints, so to speak. Uh, the, uh, the flexibility of the bridges or tunnels or roads and you know, the bridges could get cracked so they become dangerous. So it's just going to be more expensive for uh, state and local as well as federal governments to repair all these roads and, and bridges. A separate study by Arizona State University says there are engineers across the U.S. using out-of-date temperature data and climate models when selecting building materials. It means roads, bridges and other infrastructure are more likely to fail and more quickly. The reports have not gone unnoticed at the Illinois Department of Transportation. The way that Illinois infrastructure is right now, it's, it's extremely aging. So as a department, we made a decision several years ago that we're going to look at all of our assets holistically and come up with a solution as far as ranking and determining where we can spend the most money, be the most cost effective by investing in areas that are not only the most critical, but then also most vulnerable and susceptible to these more extreme weather events. The cost could be significant. The study suggests as much as $35 billion will be required for extra or earlier than expected repairs for roads being built using the current data model. Although climate change is expected to have a significant impact across the American Midwest, experts say coastal areas will be even harder hit. And they warn that very few US states are doing enough to prepare their infrastructure for the future. Eve Pytel is a director at the Delta Institute, a non-profit organization that works to build a more resilient environment through sustainable solutions. Even without the severe weather, the infrastructure wasn't, wasn't up to snuff. Now, with severe weather, it's further compromised. Climate change is something that we need to be reacting to both now, but we have to plan to react to more in the future. Uh, really trying to solve the problem for the long term uh, instead of uh, uh, this sort of endless parade of band-aids. In Illinois, workers repair one of the many potholes. If the climate predictions prove to be true, there's unlikely to be a shortage of work anytime soon. Dan Williams, CGTN, Chicago.